Hey everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to another unboxing video brought to you by yours truly. My name's Oksana, otherwise known as the Canadian Biohacker. And what I love to do is share new biotechnology products and biohacking tips that can help you optimize your performance. So today what we're gonna be unboxing is this new package I got in mail from Plato Science based out in Denmark. Um, it's called Plato Work. And what this is, is a brain stimulation device using TDCS technology. So we're gonna talk about what TDCS is and what Plato work can do for your brain. So let's get to it. So as I mentioned, Plato work is a brain stimulation device and it works through transcranial direct current stimulation, otherwise known as TDCS for short. And what TDCS is, is a non-invasive neurostimulation using low current uh, delivered to various parts of the brain. So yes, we're talking about low intensity electrical current um, being delivered to specific parts of the brain um, um, in a very targeted way. So to put it in simpler terms, TDCS helps to activate more neurons in your brain. So the idea behind wearing a TDCS device like Plato work is that it actually helps to transmit more nerve impulses in your brain, leading to enhanced brain performance. Now, what I personally find really cool about TDCS technology is that not only does it allow your neurons to fire faster, but it actually allows your neurons to fire together. So over time, TDCS actually strengthens the connections between your neurons leading to neuroplasticity. And neuroplasticity is the ability of your brain to change over time um, in order to adapt to skills you may need. So with wearing a TDCS device like this, you're actually helping your brain to learn and adapt to new skills um, leading to lasting changes so I really like that aspect wear this device to boost or enhance your cognitive function but over time you're actually strengthening your brain um, and so the hope is that over time you won't really need to wear this device anymore um, you will actually just boost your brain's cognitive capacity um, for a lasting effect now, because CDCS um, basically works by delivering a low level electrical current to specific parts of the brain, it's not necessarily something that I would want to fiddle around with on my own. Um, now, if you just Google TDCS DIY, I'm sure you'll find a lot of resources and sites where people kind of... Um, you know, make their own devices and attach electrodes to their heads and just connect all these wires together. It's just not something that I personally would want to play around with because we're talking about your brain and electrical currents. <laughs> so what Plato Work has done is make TDCS very accessible and safe for the general public um, by making a device like this with all the settings, you know, preset, um, all all the functions and features um, enclosed in a device essentially um, connected to an app and the two areas of the brain that they're targeting with Plato work um, basically work um, through four different modes that they're offering on the app and you can select from so the four modes offered by the Plato work headset are learn create concentrate and rethink so when you're using the device you can basically select which mode you'd like to focus on through the app and go from there so it makes it really easy for you to kind of choose which areas um, of your brain you'd like to focus on and then select from which cognitive function you'd like to enhance as you may know, of course, different parts of the brain are responsible for different functions. And so Plato Work has actually developed this TDCS device to work on two specific parts of the brain. So the first part of the brain that Plato Work targets is the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex found right here. And this is the most recently evolved part of the human brain that's responsible for a variety of higher cognitive functions like planning, attention to detail, working memory. Um, so by stimulating this part of the brain, uh, Plato Work is meant to enhance your learning and concentration and creativity. Now, the second part of the brain that Plato work targets is called the precuneus, which is found kind of 
like in the back of the head here. And this is our default mode network. It's an interconnected region of the brain um, that is involved in mind wandering and daydreaming. And it's basically found to be a little bit more activated in very creative individuals. And so by activating that part of the brain, play to work helps with boosting your creativity or rethinking ideas. Um, so that's the two parts of the brain that play to work works on. Okay, so we've talked about TDCS and what Play-Doh work does and why you might want to consider trying this for yourself. Okay, let's finally open this box. This is why you all came to this video, so let's do this. Um, I'm gonna hope to do this in a graceful way on camera, um, but here we go, opening it up. Um, uh, I'll just... Yeah, this is gonna be hard to make, be graceful about this, but um, it comes in this uh, little black um, package like this, um, kind of like a to-go pouch for your Play-Doh work headset. So let's open this little pouch and see what's inside. All right, unzipping it, and ta-da! Okay, so this is what it looks like on the inside. Um, you've got this little plastic bottle. I'm not sure what this is for yet. I'm sure we'll find out. Um, and you've got a quick start guide as well. So maybe let's read this out first. So it says download the app and it gives you a little link of where to do that. Follow the instructions provided in the app to prepare the headset. And three, select your desired program in the app and happy neurostimulation. Okay, so before we go ahead and download the app, which I haven't done yet, um, let's see what else is in this little package that this headset came in. So we already saw that there's this little plastic bottle, which we'll find out what this is for, but, oh, actually it says, there's my answer. It says salt water on it. Um, refill instructions in the app. Um, it also comes with this little, what looks like charging cable as well. Um, and then this is the actual headset. Um, so let's see what this does. Okay, so it kind of clicks into place. Um, and then, mm, trying to figure out which way. Okay, I'm assuming it's this way that you put it on. Um, let's see what this does. Okay, so it's actually a really snug, nice and snug fit. Um, I got a chance to try on a Play to Work headset at the Health Optimization Summit in London in September. And um, apparently it's supposed to fit pretty snugly on your head because you want um, the electrodes to be quite close to um, skin surface in order to deliver a better current. Uh, so when I tried it at the conference, um, it wasn't as snug of a fit. Uh, so I actually did feel like, a little bit of burning um, in the places where the electrodes were on my brain. It wasn't like bad burning, but it was a little bit concerning. <laughs> so they did say that, you know, when you get your own headset, you are supposed to adjust it to the shape of your head to make sure that it's a snug fit um, so that the current um, is pretty much like directly um, applied to your brain and it's better conduction. So this feels like a really good fit actually. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, let's just take this off for now. Um, and what else did I notice? Oh, when I s snapped it into place like this, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's actually like a little blue light that goes off. Um, not sure if that means that it's on or not. I'm sure I need to just read the instructions in the app, so I'll find out soon. Uh, and the last piece that's in the package was this um, little plastic box with replacement sponges. So I'm guessing that that kind of goes on um, in these little places on the actual device um, that go close to your head. Uh, so this looks like where the sponges would go to actually deliver, help deliver the current to your brain. Okay, so now that we've unboxed the Play-Doh Works headset, I went ahead and downloaded the Play-Doh Works app as well. So if you're curious to see what the in-app experience is like, keep watching the video. Okay, so I've logged into the app. I just made the account. So this is the first window that you see. We'll be doing a walkthrough together here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click get started to set up the headset. 
So step one is prepare the salt water. So that's the little salt water bottle that came in the package. Step two is preparing the sponges. So you got to moisten the dry sponges that came in the package um, and they need to be hydrated before use. Okay. Step three is getting ready. Once you prepared the essentials, you are ready to begin neurostimulating. Um, it's recommended that you find a peaceful place for your first Play-Doh work session. Okay. So step four is activating the headset. So I think I've already done that in the video when I clicked it open. It says unfolding it, you hear a click sound. When the headset is activated, the logo on the left side of the headset will blink blue. Okay, so that's what that meant. I figured that meant it's on and that's what it is. Step five is place the sponges um, in the three holding areas that I showed you. Um, okay, for your first session, it is better for the sponges to be too moist and too dry. I guess that's for the electricity conduction. Um, over time, you will find the right balance for your hair and skin type. Okay, and then you put the headset on. Um, make sure that the two textured silicone pads are placed right above the ears and that you have two sponges in the front and one in the back. Okay, so I feel like I was putting on the headset a little bit too close to my eyebrows according to this diagram, so I'll make sure to do that when I'm actually using it and trying it out. Good call out. And then ensure headset fit. So as I mentioned, it should sit tightly on your head. Step eight is get started. We recommend starting with the learn mode for your first Play-Doh work experience. Try to find a relevant task related to learning to work on during the first session. Okay. And step nine of nine are the precautions. While you should feel tingling underneath the electrodes, your session should not be painful. If you find the session uncomfortable, use the intensity slider to adjust the strength of the stimuli or pause your session and adjust the headset fit. Okay. Finish setup. Okay, so now that we've finished setup, this is the screen that you see, and it shows you the four different modes with this headset. As I mentioned, you can choose from one of the four when using the headset. There's create, rethink, learn, and concentrate. So create is when you are generating new ideas or brainstorming. Rethink when you need to think more out of the box. Learn when you are acquiring new knowledge or skill. And concentrate, which is attentional control when focus on a task is needed. Okay. So let's see what happens when you click through to one of these four. Um, I just clicked on create. So it shows you that the left and right front um, electrodes are activated when you're using the device for creating. Um, when you click rethink, it's the front, left, and back that are activated. For learning, it is, again, the two frontal electrodes. And concentrating is the left and the back again. So that's pretty cool. It kind of tells you which electrodes are going to be activated for different tasks um, as you choose between the four modes. Okay, so let's click through to settings just to see what else is in here. So we've got instructions, terms and conditions, updating the headset. So I guess when they come out with new software upgrades, you can just update the headset through the app. And then you've got some links to getting started, troubleshooting, um, Play-Doh work manual, and FAQ. So that's basically the app right here. You and that is it. So we walked through what TDCS is, what Play to Work headset can do for you. Uh, we unboxed the package together and walked through the app. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. This is like my new favorite thing now. I'm just not gonna take it off for the rest of the day. Um, <laughs> but I'm excited to try it out for myself, um, set it all up and give it a go. And of course I'll be posting a review video once I've had a chance to kind of play around with the different settings and experience this for myself. And if you have any specific questions or things you want me to test out or watch out for as I'm testing out this device, do let me know. Just drop me a comment or send me a DM, whatever works for you. Um, otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And I will see you next time, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in. Bye.